algebra problem solving. Number 1, divide 225 among A, B, and C such that A is to is equal to 2 is to 3. And B is to C is equal to 2 is to 5. Find the share of each. Parang ganito lang yung problem na to. Parang binigyan kayo ng pamasko. Ikaw, A, you B, tsaka si C. Kayo magpipinsan si A, B, tsaka si C. Such that yung hatian nyo, nag-usap-usap na kayo na kung yung A, map, dos yung mapunta kay A, mapupunta kay B, tres. Kung dos naman yung mapupunta kay B, mapupunta kay C, limang piso. Ganon. Ganon yung, yung problem na to. Yun yun. So, ganito yung computation yan. Isulat ko muna. A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3. B is to C is equal to 2 is to 5. Ayan. Una mong titignan kung ano yung pagkakapareho nila. Ta takpan muna natin tong mga numbers, tong variables. A, B, B, tsaka C. Anong pagkakapareho nila? Paraw silang may letter B. Yun na yung una mong clue. Paraw silang may B. Dapat natin gawin, ipagsama natin A, B, tsaka C. A is to B is to C. Ganyan dapat. Is equal to, kasi tatlo silang magahate eh. Kung dalawa lang magahate, 2 is to 3 lang. Kung B, tsa, si B tsaka si C lang, 2 is to 5. Eh, tatlo nga sila. A, B, tsaka C. Dapat tatlo silang makakasama. A is to B is, is to C is equal to 2. Is to 3. Is to, ano yung letter C? Okay, dito, na, dito natin, sa dalawang ano na to, dalawang given, ito lang yung may C. So, ito, dito tayo mag, ano, susolve is to C is equal to 2 is to 5. Yung B, dahil pareho nga silang may B na nakuha natin kanina, tingnan natin kung anong katapat ng B. Kung si A may 2, si B may 3. So, A, 2, B, 3. 3 yung nakatapat sa kanya. 3, 3. Palitan lang natin yung B ng number 3. 3 is to C is equal to 2 is to 5. Yan, kinopya ko lang. So, isob na natin to. Na, naturo ko na kung paano yung isolve sa iba kong video nasa loob times mo yung nasa loob c times 2 is equal to 2c or c2 times mo yung nasa labas 3 tsaka 5 3 times 5 is equal to 15 divided by 2 divided by 2 cancel 3 i c is equal to 7.5 15 divided by 2 is equal to 7.5 so meron na tayong katapat na c a 2 b 3 c 7.5 Yan. Sunod natin gagawin, ipagpa-plus mo yan lahat. So, 7.5 plus 3 plus 2 equals 7, 10, 12.5. Saka, papasok tong 225. 225 divided by 12.5. Divide natin yan is equal to 225 divided by 18. Huwag na kayo as much as possible, huwag na kayo magkakalkyo. <coughs> Para lang mabilis kaya ako nagkalkyo. <coughs> Edi yan na, 18. Para malaman natin kung ano yung kay A, B, tsaka C. A, B, C. <coughs> Nakatapat kay A, 2, B, 3, C, 7.5. Itong 18, ang katapat kay A2, 18 times 2 equals 36. Nakatapat kay B3, 18 times 3 equals 54. Kay C naman, 18 times 7.5, 18 times 7.5, 135. 135. So, ito na yung share nila. Yung kay A, 36 pesos. B, 54 pesos. Kay C, 135 pesos. Ito na yun. Pag, pag pinag-plus natin yan lahat, 36 plus 54 plus 36. 225. 225 pesos. Ito yung hatian nila. Diba? Yun yung number 1. Number 1 pa lang yun. Number 2. A scale on the map is 1, 1 cm is to 25 km. 
how far apart are two cities 13 cm apart on the map? So, sa, sa map pa, yung katumbas ng isang centimeter, one centimeter, 25 kilometer daw yun. O, gano ka? Gano ka? Ilang kilometer yung meron sa 13 cm? 1 cm is to 25 kilometer. Eh, yung tanong, 13 cm is equal to 13 cm is to ilang kilometer. Ito. Ito yung nawawala. So, ganun lang din. Gawa, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, times natin parang nasa loob, times natin parang nasa labas. Gawin natin tong N. 13 times, uh, 25 times 13, 25 times 13, 325. Is equal to 1 times N, 1 N. E di, ito na. Yung N is equal to 325. Kasi 1 na lang yan eh. Pag divide mo sa 1, ganun pa rin. If I did my mo sa 1, ganun pa rin. 325. E di, 325 kilometer. <clears throat> Next, number 3. A certain amount of money is shared among Anna, Bert, and Dan in a ratio... 5 is to 7 is to 3. If Dan gets 45,000 pesos, how much is the total amount? Total tinahanap. Nakatanggap na daw si Dan. <coughs> Anna, Bert, Dan, D. Is equal to 5 is to 7 is to 3. Nakakuha na daw si Dan ng 45,000. Si Dan ng 45,000. Magkano ngayon yung total amount? Kung ito yung pagkakahate-hate. Um, pinakamadaling gawin dyan. Kasi pag may mga ganito sa entrance exam. Ano ganito lang gawin nyo? Ewan ko kung anong turo ng teacher nyo. Pero pag mabilisan, divide nyo lang sa 3. Katapat ni Dan, 3. A, 5, B, 7, D, 3. Ito, D, 3. So, 45,000. Kasi si Dan eh, nakatanggap eh. So, si Dan, divided by sa 3. Kasi 3, 3 yung kanya. Equals 15K. 15,000 na lang. 15,000. Ngayon, ito yung kay Dan ah. Ito yung kay Dan. 15,000 times 7. Y yun yung para kay B. Oh, kay ano mo na, kay Ana 15,000 times 5 15 yeah. 75,000 75,000 15,000 ito naman yung kay B sino si B si Bert so 15,000 times 7 105,000 Eh, meron na kay Dan. 15,000. Given na yan, o. Ah, I'm late. 45,000 pala. Ah, tama, tama. 45,000. Ito. So, plus mo lang yan lahat. Yun ang total. <laughs> Yun ang total lahat. 75 plus 105 plus 45 225. 225,000 yung total. Okay. Okay, okay. Check natin. Divided by 3. 45,000 divided by 3. 15,000 times 7. One hundred five. Seventy five. Tama. Ito na yung total. Ganun lang ah. Okay. Number 7. Number 4. Ewan ko kung nakatulong yun. Number 4. 27 men can do a certain job in 15 days. 27 men. Sulat natin agad. 27 men can can do a job, a certain job in 15 days. In how many days can 18 men do the same job at the same rate? So, 27 men, 15 days yung kaya nilang gugulin para matapos yung isang trabaho. Eh, paano pag 18 lang sila? So, 27 is to 15 days is equal to 18 men 
is two ilang days. Days yung inahanap po. In how many days? So, ito yung inahanap. N to N. Ganun lang din. Multiply mo. Ganun. Multiply mo yung inner tsaka outer. Tapos, isolve mo na yung N. Hindi ko na yung isolve. Number five. A farmer A can do <coughs> a job in 15 days. Working alone, mag-isa lang daw siya. Farmer B can finish the same job in 6 days. Working alone. So, si Farmer A... Pwede po yung ko. <laughs> farmer A, 5 days. Yan. Farmer B naman, 6 days. In how many days can the two farmers, si Farmer A at si Farmer B, finish the job together? Farmer A, 5 days niya kayang tapusin yung trabaho. Farmer B naman, 6 days niya kayang tapusin. Pag mag-isa lang siya. E paano pag nagsama si Farmer A at si par Farmer B? Gano katagal? <coughs> okay, ganito. So, isa isang trabaho, ka yung kayang gugulo ni A is 5 days. Sa, dala sa kay B naman, 6 days. Isang, isang trabaho, 6 days. Plus mo yan. Ayan. 30, 5, 6. Ayan. So, 30 divided by 11. 2.72. Days. Pero, ganito lang yan. Ito. Diba, ito na yung given. 5 days yung kay A, 6 days yung kay B. Multiply mo lang yan. 5 times 6 equals 30. 30 days. Divided by mo sa 5 plus 6 equals 11. O, 30 divided by 11. Divided by 11. 2.72 days. Ganun lang ah. 5 times 6, 30 days divided by 5 plus 6, 11 is equal to 2.72 days. Yan. Next, number 6. Myla sold 144 glasses of lemon juice at a constant rate over 6 hours. So, si Myla, kaya niyang makabenta ng 144 glasses in 6 hours. So, 6 hours. Pero, convert natin siya sa minutes. Minutes. So, 6 hours times 60. Kasi sa 6, sa 1 hour, merong 60 minutes. Eh, 6 hours to. So, 6 times 60 is equal to 360 minutes. Eh, if she continues to sell of juice at the same rate, how many glasses will she sell in the next 45 minutes? Ayan, if she continues, kung magpapatuloy pa siyang magbenta ng juice, how many glasses will she sell in the next 45 minutes? So, 45 minutes. Ilang glasses is to 45 minutes. So, isolve mo lang to. Ito yung N, di ba? 360 times N is equal to 144 times 45. Okay? Ito na yung isolve. Ayan yun na yan. Last. Jose can paint 4 over 9 of second floor of a small building in 144 hours. So, kaya daw niyang magpinta ng 4 over 9 of second floor in 144 hours. At that rate, how many hours will it take him to paint the entire floor? So, yung entire floor, 4 over 9 lang yung na-finish na. Eh, yung entire floor is equal to 9 over 9. Or 1 is 2 blank hours. Ilang hours daw. So, 4 over 9 is equal to 144 hours. Is equal to, yung 9 over 9, 1 yan eh. Diba? 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. Is 2 n hours. Solve mo na yung n. O, oh, one oh, ganun na, kaya nyo na yan. <laughs> Yun lang. Sana nakatulong herod din.